Hi, Hiram here. In my last video, I answered a question as to whether or not isopropyl alcohol will work in the Fancy Feast stove. And we saw that it did, made quite yellow flames, great for lighting up the area. But uh, it gets a little sooty on the pot. John over at Flat Cat Gear commented, if you cut the pot support, this part, if you cut the pot support down to about a half an inch or less, ISO, meaning isopropyl alcohol, should work fine. No soot, no yellow flames. The problem with wick stoves and ISO, blah, blah, blah. But the point was, John was saying that I should lower this pot stand support, which I dragged out. This was the second um, fancy fee stove that I made. It had been suggested at that time that alcohol would work better without the one inch sweet spot and we tried this and it didn't work so good with denatured alcohol or methanol while I'm here talking let me light these so this is the fancy feast with isopropyl 91 percent alcohol in it there we go you can see how it creeps around the wick more slower than the methanol does and there we got the yellow flames already so the yellow flames work great if you want to use light you could read by this stuff but it really sets up the pots now you can see even with this pot stand is only a half inch tall versus the one inch sweet spot that we see with most alcohol at this rate they both make for yellow flames now let's see what happens when I put the pots on we'll go to camera two Okay, so we're at camera two. See how the one inch, the regular fancy feast stove is still burning yellow. But the one with the shortened pot stand is turning bluer and bluer. There's just a little tinge of yellow there. But it's just about gone. So let me run this for about five minutes and I'll come back. We'll see. How, but you can already see on this one it's sooting up really nastily nothing on this one yet so I'm gonna just let this run for five minutes and we'll come back Okay, now I didn't run a timer, but so far this pot has, let's go to camera one. This pot has a little bit more water in than this one does. I didn't measure it, I just kind of dumped it in, but it looks like this has twice the water of that one. This one's at a rolling boil, which I can't show you, sorry. And this one is just starting to get bubbles. So, even with the isopropyl in this, it seems to burn faster and hotter with the one inch but where it comes in is let me just dump this out move that back hopefully you can see lots of soot lots of soot all around the pot so that's going to be quite a clean job to do. Now let's go to this one, which has still been burning for even longer. Let me dump this out. Move that back. On this one, just a bare hint of soot on there. Won't be hard to clean that off. So you can use the isopropyl alcohol. It's a little bit slower with the half inch. I still say that with most alcohols, the sweet so yeah, sorry, sweet spot seems to be an inch from wherever the jets or wick is to the bottom of the pot. 
a one inch sweet spot seems to work better than anything else so they'll work this one with the shorter pot stand will give you a cleaner pot but a slower boil okay so I mean it's a good thing at least we can get it with alcohol the isopropyl alcohol without getting everything all dirty so I thank John from over at Flat Cat Gear for telling us about that you really gotta check out his site I mean he's got some cool stuff over there I've got a bunch of his uh, burners and stoves but I thank John I thank you for watching I look forward to your input questions remarks helpful suggestions and as always watch for my buddy Max bye now